Good morning, everyone. It's 10 a.m. and we're going to get started. Uh, I'm sure um, there's some people that are going to join us afterwards, so um, and that's fine because we're going to start the, the presentation in a couple minutes so that we can get some intros out of the way. Uh, first of all, like welcome to our first webinar. Um, forgive us for any technical glitches. I promise you we'll have at least one and I'll, we'll try to be calm through it, but uh, this is our first one. So we're super excited, but uh, just be patient with us. Thank you. Um, and thank you for taking so much, uh, thank you for taking the time to, um, to spend with us this morning. Uh, we're really hoping that we uh, won't take more than 25 minutes of your time this morning. So we'll try to keep it short and sweet. Um, it's such a different world operating, uh, operating in, in COVID these days. We're, we're a small business and we're really trying to pivot. So we've really upped our game um, uh, on social media. So please, please follow us if you haven't already on Instagram and Facebook. We're even going to try TikTok, so God help us. Um, and, uh, you know, we tried to inc uh, improve our website. So if you have, um, uh, you know, want to check out any of the products, we, we try to upload things as fast as we can. And we just want to let you know that we're here for you virtually, um, for virtual shopping appointments. We're here for you in person um, or for curbside pickups, and we can send things to your house. So um, a quick overview of today's session. Um, I'm going to give you a quick Zoom tour for anyone that's not familiar with Zoom. Um, intros, I'm going to introduce myself and my lovely team from South Centre. They will also show uh, what the draw prize is for the day. Um, and then we're going to put on our presentation for you, followed by a Q&A session. Um, and then we're going to announce a draw prize winner. So that's kind of our agenda for today. So starting with a Zoom tour, I'm sure lots of you are familiar with Zoom. But um, if you'll see the bottom of your screen, uh, there's something called Q&A and there's something called chat. So if you want to use uh, the Q&A um, buttons at the bottom of your screen to ask us any questions um, at the uh, end of the session, please feel free to use that. If you'd like to mention anything uh, during the presentation, there's also the chat button. Um, throughout the presentation, I'll be putting links to um, the looks that the ladies are presenting in the chat session. Um, and last but not least, I, I want you to know that no attendee can see any other attendee. So if you haven't done your hair, don't worry. Um, you like no, no one else can see you. you like people can just see my screen and my beautiful um, South Center teams screen. So welcome to Zoom. Um, intros. Uh, my name is Carrie and I'm the owner of Blues. Um, I haven't met all of you, but I think I've met lots of you. Uh, I'm not the original owner of Blues. I didn't start Blues. The original owners are John and Jennifer Levitt and um, I became an owner in 2015. Um, and it's been such an adventure since then. So um, I'm from Edmonton. Um, I went to the U of A and I studied business. Um, I'm a chartered accountant. Uh, I guess now they're called CPAs. I uh, articled at KPMG. And, um, you know, at some point after I was done um, getting my designation, I went on a girl's trip with, uh, with my friends to New York. And um, at the time, like, I, th I think we were staying somewhere near, near Times Square and New York Fashion Week was in Bryant Park. And I remember meeting people on that trip that were, you know, not that much different from me. Um, and, you know, they told me that their jobs were like, um, they were the assistant buyer at Barney's or they were an assistant to Alexander Wang or these crazy jobs where I was like, that's my dream job. Like, how did you, how did you get there? And, you know, they were like, well, we went to Parsons, which um, was a fashion school, still is a fashion school in New York. And uh, when I came back to Edmonton, I, I applied to go to Parsons, like at the end of that weekend. And uh, months later, I found out I got in. So um, I quit my job at KPMG and moved to New York. And I went to fashion school. Um, that was a really fun adventure. Um, I articled or not articled, I guess I interned with Donna Karen and Gucci um, and Under Armour. And when I graduated from school, I was offered a job with Donna Karen. So um, I worked there for, uh, I think, for about four years. Um, at the same time, I always had um, the same partner uh, in, in Edmonton. His name is Vince. And, um, you know, when I graduated at Parsons, it was probably about 2011. And um, it was right after the kind of like economic uh, recession. In, in the United States, uh, and my partner works in finance. So it was really difficult for him to uh, be sponsored to get a job in the United States. Like I was fortunate enough that Donna Karen sponsored me to get a visa because I'm Canadian uh, to work in the United States, but it was trickier for him to move there. So we decided in the end that I would move back to Canada 
and I would move back to Edmonton. So at the time I was kind of scared because I, I didn't know what kind of opportunities there would be for me in Edmonton. I mean, working in fashion, I thought, well, I'd have to move to Toronto or um, Vancouver, but what would I do in Edmonton? So when I got back to Edmonton, I started Googling head offices for fashion companies and lo and behold, blues came up. Um, and so I, I found an email on the website and I emailed it um, and it was John Levitt. And he emailed me back in two minutes and literally two minutes uh, from when I emailed him. And he invited me to come meet him and his wife. Um, we got along really well. And uh, they had three sons, none of whom were interested in running this business. And from, from the time we met, they asked me if I was interested in running a business. And I'll tell you, I didn't really know anything about running a small business back then, um, but I thought it would be a great adventure. So uh, years later, uh, here we are. So John and Jennifer are still my uh, mentors. And I think Jennifer might be an attendee on this. So if you're out there, Jennifer, hello. Um, so that's a little bit about me. And um, I'm going to pass it on for my beautiful team at South Centre to introduce themselves. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Cheryl Newman, and I've worked for Blues about uh, 20 years. Um, I was at Bankers Hall for uh, a good stint, and I've been here at South Centre managing the store for five years. And it's, it's just been a dream. Um, it's, you never work a day in your life when you love your job. And that's exactly how um, I feel. I have um, two grown children and, um, you know, living the dream. So um, it's just great to work with these wonderful gals. We've all been here a long time. We're a well-oiled machine. And um, we just have a great connection with all our customers. They may come in to work a lot of fun. Um, even with COVID, we talk about COVID all day long. But we persevere and we try to change things about and um, just get along great with them. Um, our people and our clients, and it's just a wonderful experience. And I'll pass you on to Jen. I don't sound muffled. I'm Jen. <laughs> uh, I've been at Blues now for 15 years. Uh, I came on board uh, actually wanting to be assistant manager or manager of the store. The position wasn't available at the time. So I just started as full-time sales and plugged along and grew my business got so many wonderful clients now that have been with me right from the get-go and um, yeah I mean I'm very fortunate to work with these ladies we get on perfectly and you know it's, it's like a small family being here so mm -hmm. we appreciate each other and we're lucky to have the clients that we do being such a, a local small business we're very fortunate so thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks Jen. Um, Jen, do you and Cheryl want to show what draw prize that we'll be pulling for at the end of um, this session? Certainly. So we are doing a Dean Davidson giveaway. Uh, it is a 24 karat gold. I'm going to try to get that detail in there. It's a basket weave uh, gold necklace. It is adjustable so you can wear it shorter or longer. And there's a little matching drop earring that's quite beautiful. So that the two of them are valued at six twenty-five. So somebody's going to take that home today. And I also just wanted to mention we're doing a Mother's Day um, giveaway with purchase. It's also for Dean Davidson. So this little baguette necklace uh, is going to be yours if you purchase three hundred dollars in Dean Davidson uh, leading up to Mother's Day. So I just wanted to mention that at the same time. Thank you so much, Jen. Um, and just so you ladies know, if you didn't couldn't see the necklace um, in up close detail, I've put a link in the chats um, to uh, where you can see that necklace on our website in case you want to have a better look at it. Um, so without further ado, uh, we're going to put on our presentation. So just a reminder, Jen, um, perfect. You muted yourself. I'm going to mute myself. Um, enjoy your presentation and we'll see you in a few minutes. Thank you for joining us. We've been waiting for you. Come on in, we'd like to show you our new spring trends. Do you just feel like there is no air left to breathe? Do you just wanna to be left outside the Here we're showcasing a jogger outfit from Veronica Beard. I think it's important when you're showing a jogger that you want it to be elevated so keep in mind you need a fresh sneaker for this you can't be pulling out your old gym sneaker it needs to be a fun funky fresh shoe a 
a lightweight summer jogger. Again, remember to keep it elevated with the monochromatic head-to-toe color. We love this one as it's got the airiness of the eyelet mesh sleeve. This is from Marie St. Pierre, a Canadian designer out of Montreal. Just feel like there is no just left to see. We also want to emphasize that you don't just have to wear a sneaker or a slide with your jogging outfit. You need to wear a combat boot. Different texturing is all, always a plus. Here we have all grey, monochromatic, great looking heather grey jogging outfit from Norma Camelli. And the best trend is also to have that layering look. We have just thrown on the matching heather grey sweatshirt over top of the tank. Next spring trend we're showing is a high rise pant, a wider leg which is cropped. You'll find much easier to wear with all your different footwear, especially in Alberta. This is by Louisa Serrano. Here's another look showcasing our looser pant trend. This is a new line that we're carrying at Blues that's exclusive to us here in Alberta called Nilly Lotan from New York. It's a high rise denim, stretch fit, but certainly a wider leg than what we've seen recently more so a boot cut. Here's another look showcasing the trend of looser cut pants. Keep in mind we're going with shapes that are a little bit more relaxed than what we've seen in the past. We've also made this a monochromatic look at the same time. The next spring trend we're showing is monochromatic in a beautiful denim cotton suit by Dorothy Schumacher. The color is nougat, nice and fresh for spring. Another monochromatic look, this one's by Marie St. Pierre, who we love from Montreal. Made out of a fine scuba, we love the transparency of the mesh top and a completely sheer back. Here we have a lovely outfit from Annette Gordes, a mint green color. And it's all about the different texture. Here we have a monochromatic look from head to toe. We can do the different patterning of polka dots. It's a separate top and pant, wider legged, very flowing fabric from Morella. Here's our monochromatic look on Stella from Louisa Serrano. We're showcasing the fresh raspberry tones. Now keep in mind with monochromatic, you can certainly include a print. Just keep it within the same color family. Here's another trend. We are gonna start to see a lot more looks and pieces within vegan leather. we are going to start seeing a lot more of it, even transitioning into fall 2021. So keep in mind, we've seen vegan leather for a couple seasons now with slimmer, almost legging style pants, but the trend really is a looser cut. On Stella, we've shown it rolled up, so it's a fresh take to show some cute footwear for spring. The next spring trend is the oversized shirt. A petite person can definitely wear this look and pull it off fabulously. Another oversized shirt trend, this one by Annette Gortz. We love the vertical lines added to the styling, as well as the side button detail. So you can easily put your hands in your pocket or if you'd even like to tuck in the front and leave the back left out. Another look with our oversized shirt this one from Dorothy Schumacher from Germany. This one's so fun as you have the option to wear it three separate ways. Completely buttoned up at the sleeve, 
or completely removed for a short sleeve blouse. We like it worn half on, half off. As well, the back can easily be opened along the back center seam for a cool look. And thank you for supporting local. Well, thanks so much for that, ladies. That was an awesome presentation. Loved how you put so many outfits together. Um, I tried to keep up and put up as many links as I could, but uh, I didn't do it fast enough. So if anyone um, saw a look that they wanted um, and wanted to see it online and they couldn't find the link, um, please feel free to contact me. My email is carrie at blues.com, K-E-R-R-Y at B-L-U-S.com. And more than happy to um, send you a link um, or all the links to any of the looks that you might've seen that you would like to, to know more about. Okay, um, I'm going to open it up uh, for any questions uh, for our, our Q&A. If you want to know how to use the Q&A, um, it's just that little uh, button at the bottom of your screen. Um, and if you click on it and ask a question, um, we, can, we can answer them. So um, I have some pre-questions. We had um, lovely, uh, one of our lovely clients, Connie Johnson, had some questions for us. So I'm going to... Uh, put some of them out to um, Jen and Cheryl. Um, one of Connie's questions was, um, you know, a, a lot of us do have a lot of black in our closet. This spring, how do you make black more interesting? Like what would you do to uh, punch up a black outfit? Hey Connie, so the best thing about um, black is anything goes. So definitely you can use um, layering of necklaces or you can put a great scarf um, also, you know, you have to have those a little bit of make if you need those lips when you're wearing all black. But definitely um, doing, putting accessories with it is always a way to break it up. And you can put a jacket also with your black top and jeans or a black blouse. Um, there's so many great uh, jackets from Veronica Beard, Marie St. Pierre, and Smythe. You can definitely pop it with a jacket. I think play with textures too. Mm -hmm. Sorry, yeah, absolutely. I think play with textures because that can break up, you know, the, the monochromatic look of black. Can you hear me okay with the mask? I, I think maybe you should take the mask off. It's I'll yeah. move over. Okay. I, I was just gonna add, I think that you should play with textures with all black um, because sometimes it can look flat. So, you know, that can be, even the, the green, the mint out that I did from Annette Gort, like if you had a crochet or a mesh, uh, you know, even layering with, our best-selling mesh top from Marie St. Pierre. If you're doing a sleeveless dress, you can do that little transparent mesh underneath. You just, you see different layers in the black. So I think that's important to keep in mind. Okay, I have one more question for you guys. Um, did the Veronica Beard wide leg pant in the dark color shown have a high waist? Yes, it did. That's the, yeah. that's the green one with the buttons. Yeah. It actually had button front and it is high-waisted. Okay, perfect. Um, one more question for you ladies. Um, you know, a, a lot of what we're seeing uh, for spring is oversized. Um, what are your recommendations for a, yes, and you look great in it, Cheryl. Um, what are your recommendations for how to do the oversized trend for a petite person? As you saw with um, Stella wearing, um, she's our great tailor at the store here. She was wearing that white over blouse, oversized blouse. And then you just you make sure you do your bottoms a little bit more slimmer. So she had a slim jean with it. But there's definitely there is blouses that are oversized proportions for petite size people. Because I think Stella looked absolutely fabulous in her life. Okay. And just so I'm going to reiterate that because if you couldn't hear Cheryl, what she's saying is that when you're a petite person, the proportions really matter. So, you know, make sure that like if you've got an oversized top, that your bot like it's not um, to your knees, like it's probably mid thighs where you want the shirt to end. Um, and like your, 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 your pant game is, is tighter and closer to the body. Um, one more question for you ladies. This is coming from Gay. Trends are moving to wider legs. If we are still wearing slim fit, how can we update? Is that some, for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, the, the trend is definitely a looser cut pant right now, but I don't think we're ever really going to get away from skinny. I think it is really more so that classic cut you're going to see. I mean, I'm wearing it today. 
to update it, I mean, I'll take a, a little denim and I'll roll it up a little bit on the bottom. I think you can do the same um, for a dress pant even to change it up. Even a vegan leather pant like we did with Stella in the one video, we rolled it up just to change up the look a little bit. Because I think spring is can be so beautiful in Calgary, Edmonton. I think you want to show great footwear. Um, to update it, I don't know, maybe just wear it with just different looser cut tops too. Again, like I'm wearing a, a looser blouse. If I wear it out, I, I can look like a tank in this style, but I've left it undone in the back. So yeah, and add a little belt. I do a little French tuck in the front. I don't know what else to add to that maybe. Jen, I love it because I've, I've also done a French tuck myself. There it is. Take it in. <laughs> well, that's a great blouse on you. Thank you. Um, one more question for you. Um, it says, this is from Laura. Uh, dresses, will we see any casual, easy flowing dresses coming? Wait, when are they coming? What you said? Um, so I'm just going to mention again, dresses. Will we see any casual, easy flowing dresses coming? Um, we do have a few in an F board, but definitely um, we do have flowy dresses coming in. Um, they're lightweight cotton gauze or a linen blend. And we do have a few Veronica beard and an F boards in the store. Um, hopefully we'll have a few more trinkle in, but uh, it's a great trend right now. And you're going to see that just it's a very easy, flowy um, dress to wear. And it's not um, form figured at all. Like it's very fit. It's very flowy. It's not fit. So you definitely will see that look. And again, it's proportioned to um, a, a taller woman plus a woman that's petite. You can get different cuts for sure. I know we're expecting a new Louisa Serrano mm -hmm. collection today. We're going to get two drops. So there's a blue collection, which is um, a really pretty floral. It's a cotton voile. So it's just that really thin, almost like tissue cotton. It's just beautiful. And um, there's another collection that's uh, a pink and kind of a marigold color. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we've bought a couple dresses, knowing that, you know, when it's really hot, you want something lightweight. So we've got, we've got some coming in today. Fantastic. And I'm going to speak to that, um, Laura, as well. Uh, you know, with, with a, like, this is our third season with a pandemic. Like, you know, we've had spring 2020, then fall 2020, then spring 2021. I mean, we couldn't we couldn't adjust um, spring 2020's assortment because we were kind of in the middle of it when, when the pandemic came, but um, definitely the way that we've bought in dresses has changed so much. Um, we're not really doing anything bodycon or form fitting anymore. It's all about loose dresses, but it's about versatility. You want a dress that you can wear casually, but still if you throw a blazer on top of it or like a longer sweater that you can dress it up if need be. Um, wonderful. So what, one more question and then we're gonna wrap it up. Um, this one's coming from Barb. How about sporty skirts that suit sneakers? What are your thoughts on that, ladies? Yes? Love oh. it. <laughs> sneakers is the way. Everything, go, everything is with sneakers. We've never seen so many sneakers in um, in history, I don't think, but all different vendors are doing sneakers. And put, definitely put that sneaker with a short little skirt. It's, it's really funky and cool and current, for sure. Yeah, we, we love it. And, mm -hmm. and I think it's important to keep that in mind. I was going to add that to your dresses, too. Um, you know, we still have a variety of dresses. We still have a variety of dresses in the store. And I, I think some people look at them as maybe being too dressy for what you might wear day to day, but you just have to change it up and wear it with a sneaker. I mean, you might wear a Marie St. Pierre dress. You know, it is an investment piece, but you're gonna wear it, throw a sneaker on, add a little lightweight legging if you, if you don't wanna show a leg. Again, you can do that with your skirt. And um, it, it just makes it look fresh and current and, and you're going to get a lot more wearability out of that. I think that's important to keep in mind. That's awesome, Jen. I totally agree. Um, I'm actually the shoe buyer for blues. And I'll tell you, we have never carried so many sneakers before and not been able to sell sell pumps. We just we used to be able to sell pumps, but we can't do it anymore. So I think the sneakers are here to stay. Um, um, yes, sorry, Laura, and to your point, um, I know we need to carry more 36s, so we will definitely look at our, our size range for shoes. Um, and I'm just going to answer Kelly's question, uh, and then we're going to do the draw. So um, Kelly says, great presentation, thank you. I am not familiar with Hillary McMillan. How is the fit? What lines would compare to it in terms of fit? Well, thank you, Kelly. Um, Hillary McMillan is a Canadian designer that we've just started carrying this season. 
Um, and interestingly enough, it is very difficult to find new lines during the pandemic when you can't travel because you have to buy off pictures and virtually. So um, that's kind of how we discovered Hillary. She is, everything in her line is vegan. So we love that, the sustainability factor of it. Um, but she's also quite size inclusive. So I believe she starts at zero, double zero in some styles and goes up to four X. Um, and in terms of uh, what lines would compare to in terms of fit, I think it depends on the piece. Like um, she does like dresses and blazers, uh, but I think it's not so structured. So it would really de depend on the fit. But um, if anything, I, I, Kelly, I know you live in Edmonton. If you want to try out any of the pieces, what we can do is, um, and they're in Bankers Hall right now, we can send them up so you can try them on and, and see if you, know, you like how they fit. Cause they're, um, like I said, I really like the fact that they're Canadian and sustainable. Um, so everyone, thank you so much for your questions. Um, super appreciate it. We're gonna do that draw right now. So I've actually got um, Michelle in the background pulling up my draw. And um, if I call out your name, if you could just uh, you know, mention, put it in the chat that you're here, I would super appreciate it. Is there an L Rose Kloss um, attending right now? Elrose, if you're there, do you want to um, just, oh, you're here. Wonderful. So Elrose, we have your email. What we'll do is we'll contact you after this to determine the best way to get this beautiful Dean Davidson set over to you. Um, so thank you so much for coming and, and thank you everyone to, for coming. Uh, we have another session at noon with our Bankers Hall team. Um, sincerely, we appreciate your support and the fact that you spent time with us this morning. If you have any feedback for us, um, you know, please, please let us know if, um, you know, technical feedback or what you'd like to see more of. Like I said, this is our first one. We'll, we'll do it again and hopefully we can improve and learn on, on this one. So thank you so much, ladies. Enjoy the rest of your day.